Hi, uh, welcome Mohamed. So Mohamed is one of our uh, data science batch uh, student. So he uh, came into Gooby, he learned with us and then he moved as a, into a proper role. Let's understand what he has done uh, or how he has transitioned his, himself from the past to the current. Uh, so that is the agenda for today's uh, session kind of it. Hey Mohamed, uh, can you brief about yourself, uh, what you did earlier? Okay, first of all, uh, uh, a big thank you to all of you that you all invited us to Gooby and uh, again a very big thank you to all of you that uh, you all have given me that transition and an opportunity to enter into this new industry. So myself is uh, Mohammed Ishtia. I am a BE mechanical graduate, uh, no CS background at all. Okay, I worked as a professor for around, uh, I have a work experience of 6 to 8 years. And post that, I had uh, some contact with Govi from where, as of now, I am working as a data analyst in EY, Ernest & Young. Uh, it's like uh, one of the big fours. And uh, yeah, here I am today. Cool. So, uh, what subjects you are taking, uh, teaching during your uh, professor tenure? I started with uh, mathematics. Okay. I had yeah. some attachment with mathematics. Okay. but. Uh, Later on, I switched to physics and uh, physics and mathematics was what I was dealing with. So it's not like uh, something very much into deep. You can consider me as a teacher for 12th standard or 11th standard. So okay. a very normal basic person. But then, yeah, I chose to code. So Gooby helped me there, right? So when you started coding, did you have any previous? Uh, pre, uh, previous? Not one line of code. I, I did not know where to put a dot and wow. where to put a comma. I, I was not aware of anything. What is coding? It's like another world. I don't know how that <laughs> happened. <laughs> so how did you learn that? I'm pretty curious. Like from zero coding, how did you start? So was it what is the blockers that you had? Blockers, if I have to put it, we can fill in an entire book right here. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, just let's start from somewhere. Mm. I when I started, first of all, Python. Uh, I'm grateful we have Python today because if I had to start with C and Java, then again <laughs> there was some, <laughs> and we would have had some threshold wherein I would have pulled back, retreatment would have happened, but then yeah, Python helped me there. Second thing is uh, when I started, there were some people, again to address here, these people are mentors from uh, the institute that I have joined, coming back to Gooby, okay. I have called them around 10, 11, 12 in the night asking this line is not getting executed and that person will make me a video call, share my screen and he'll tell me remove that uh, full stop from there, <laughs> <laughs> remove that comma from there and it will execute. Okay. So it was that tough but then yeah, see it's not like this madness will go on, eventually you understand things and if there is someone to make you realize that yeah you can do it if someone is there to just give you that small push at times mm -hmm. okay so if i take an example while i was a kid i used to learn uh, that bicycle mm -hmm. okay it's not like uh, my dad had to run with me everywhere mm -hmm. if he used to stand behind the morale that somebody is there mm -hmm. would do around 50 60 percent of my work i would fall once uh -huh. twice that is expected understood well enough okay but then that thing which is standing behind was the main force that drove me to learn that act. Wow. And yeah, if that is present, you can achieve things. So someone has to be there. And yeah, Govi was that someone for me in this case. Perfect. Okay. So uh, I mean, typically uh, for this thing, you would have done a lot of practice. Okay. So how much hours of practice you put in? Or do you have any structure or the thought process? Or how you groomed yourself, self part of it. One is uh, the push, the other one is that there is always a self-discipline around it. Yeah. So, can you explain anything? That's, that's very important. It's not only in this segment of life, it's everywhere, okay. Self-discipline will play an important role, okay. And as uh, to what you've asked me, the number of hours. Number of hours is not uh, going to be decided per day. It depends on the activity. When I started, mm. half an hour and one hour used to be sufficient. Okay? okay. But the later part of the course where we started getting projects, mm. I used to enjoy this work so much so that four and six hours used to, it used to get, I used oh. to put that much effort, but I used to not realize that that ah. part of the day has gone. Okay. 
सो इफ यू हैव दैट एंथो यू विल एंजॉय इट एंड यू विल नॉट रियलाइज द टाइम पासिंग बाय यू विल नॉट कैलकुलेट दैट बट या टू गिव यू अ नंबर आई वुड से वन टू टू आवर्स कंसिस्टेंटली ओके मार्क दिस वर्ड ओके इफ यू आर इन टच कंसिस्टेंटली या थिंग्स विल स्टार्ट चेंजिंग Okay, so you can't uh, score in one over. It has to be a. Obviously, it has to be a test match. Then I want T20. Yeah, there is nothing which is just happening in life. To make big empires, you have to spend that much time and resource. Yeah. Okay. So you you are talking about the projects, right? So how many projects you did? How how the projects helped you in uh, in your new course, like cracking the interview or understanding the concepts? Uh, while I was. Uh, Doing the course, uh, I've done around six to eight projects. Six to eight, really? Wow. Yeah. Ah. So six to eight projects, and uh, some were small, but some mm-hmm. were really big. Wherein I had to start from scratch to the end. Okay. So starting from data mining mm. to developing the model till okay. the end. These were some kind of projects. Okay. This thought process. This thought process came from somebody named Kaushik. Ah, oh, okay. In your institute, <laughs> this guy tells us that I am not giving you any data. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I am giving you a problem statement. Okay. Okay. Work around it, and you are everyone. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. You are the data mining team. You are the analysis team. Okay. You are the data science developer. Everything are you. Okay. Work around it and give me the output. <laughs> so that was one challenge and uh, it, it took some time but then the exposure that uh, these things give you now again you asked me how many projects did you do it does not matter how many you do okay okay it's uh, totally up to you see understand one thing that every project will have a real life case mm. every real life case will have some hindrance some point where people should get stuck mm-hmm. okay now people who sit to the other side where they conduct interviews mm-hmm. with people mm-hmm. they know these bottlenecks ah. so when they ask you a question when they talk about a project they will have this question in their mind mm. so the way you talk and the way you answer tells them very openly that you whether you worked or whether you've just read this on google and you've come to them uh, can you tell any one of the interview scenarios which yeah. you so while i was working i had to prepare data and this data was yearly based and uh, i was trying to understand if i analyze this data year wise it's not going to help me so what mm-hmm. i did a very very small example mm-hmm. don't take it to that technical level i had to break the data to weeks i had to break the data to months i had to make different data sets and i have to compare all three of them Okay. so these hindrances when you come across them you will search for the code you will try to understand where is the code and why do i have to do this mm. after cracking that you will realize how it helps and you will further decode it and go more in depth okay okay, okay. so with every project you will learn something mm. okay and when you talk about this uh, the person sitting to the other side obviously knows whether you've actually worked or whether this is a copy pasted project ah. so the more you do the more so, content you have to speak so just downloading will not help it's obviously not possible <laughs> people who are sitting they are not mad ah. they can just catch you okay you speak something rubbish and they'll catch you there ah. it's not for showing them mm-hmm. it's for your own good okay. mm-hmm. the more you learn the more you are you are capable and the more you are fitting into the criteria of the market why will the market absorb you mm-hmm. prove your worth right prove that you are capable to solve that real life situation it's not just because you've done a course from somewhere it's that challenge that you accept whether it's the task is coming can i crack it yeah. obviously after a few months uh, the problem statement will change what will you do then you will rely on those previous done projects uh-huh. no you should have that tendency right ah uh, okay you should have that tendency this is new this is coming let's try it and i have the capacity to crack this okay so that is where you make the difference so you put that process in your mind of solving the problem yes of being ready to solve so that ready problem. to solve the problem fair right. enough okay so you are talking about the interviews right did you had any mock interviews from guvi did uh, the, or any test anything that helped you we had everything structured from guvi just to praise guvi on one part like uh, what we did not expect we had that also okay it's not only about the interview mm. we also had mentoring sessions and uh, depending on the company we were provided guidance now okay. every company has a different base uh, the domains that they work and what interests the company these are all different tastes mm-hmm. okay 
we being as students not selected and having no exposure at all we don't know we are like small kids they'll ask us what you do and we'll tell we are uh, we'll give a small introduction and we'll just say we've done this we've come from this background but to be be capable and match those standards of company even that exposure was provided by the gubi like different companies will have different expectations mm. so what are the expectations and what what are you supposed to talk how much are you supposed to talk not only the interview the questions and some projects which might interest these are all research and developments so mm -hmm. which need to be done by the student but at some point govi guided us by go in this direction and helped us ki how are you supposed to work mm. for example if uh, eny has some uh, research work going around the literacy rate mm -hmm. like uh, india has an education policy of uh, getting everything online by 2030 mm -hmm. i suppose people mm -hmm. know this i i don't have that idea so ernest and were a young is having a data science policy working around this ah okay so if i have some insights on this and i present this in mm. my interview it makes me a different candidate okay okay, okay. so how to go there what to read what not to read and all this obviously this is done in mock interviews and this all guidance was provided so, yeah i agree to that okay. how how many interview you uh, took uh, uh, before cracking the current one i'll i'll, I'll be very honest I like I have a few friends okay, okay. Uh, who work in IIT uh. I am a mechanical guy okay the first interview you've ever come across that situation you enter a room and suddenly the lights go off it's blackout <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, just that way when my first interview and the first question is pushed on me uh. it's blacked out oh, so okay. I call up my friend <laughs> and I tell him dude what is this <laughs> It is like if this is your first be prepared for a similar one second how oh, is it <laughs> <laughs> that's your net practice that is going to happen okay. and eventually 3 to 4 so yeah the numbers that i have faced is between 4 to 6 interviews oh okay it's pretty uh, very good for a yeah even non i <laughs> even i was happy <laughs> that i didn't have to go the numbers didn't cross 10 okay he was like two three interviews would take that to absorb hmm. and eventually when you get comfortable then you will start speaking your knowledge okay that's awesome but yeah it's not like only that many opportunities were given it's like take your time mm -hmm. so that that again that guidance was there like seriously the the holding part from the institute was more than i expectations it was awesome to its limits okay one last personal question like so you are from a non cs background general tip people have the mind blocks right so i i am from non cs i can't uh, learn coding or like i i face all the challenges so how do you uh, how did you solve and how do you face that in your current org because getting into org is one part and uh, staying there with par with others is also another challenge how do you keep yourself uh, motivated or what makes you do those things Uh, let's frame your question again mm. you you want to know that uh, what is what drives me to take this decision no not what drives so how you are uh, facing it like uh, uh, there the money could be one driver or the job could be one driver but uh, so there is a uh, intent to break the mind block right yeah so what is that how did you break it the intent is first of all see you need to be passionate about something yeah. okay i being a professor a mathematics domain teacher mm. okay when i started learning data science it was uh, application of calculus uh, real life mathematics i i could see that being oh. implemented in real life okay so that was the the very interesting part that drove me towards data science mm. okay mm. part number 2 relied on the language that mm. i had to learn from the computer or to put into the computer now that was like for the computer i was the computer now ah okay because he had to put everything in me from <laughs> zero <laughs> otherwise he used to scold me ki what rubbish are you doing so out there what i kept telling myself ki no he is not the he is not the human you are the human you have to teach him ah uh, okay so stop thinking that you can't teach him ah uh, ah uh. and you always have to we used to get stuck and if uh, that help was provided few codes initially see 
there's a buffer, there's a threshold and uh, there's a limit to where a person can hold. Okay, mm -hmm. that depends on your age. Like in 20s, we have very small uh, mm -hmm. limit to hold. We get uh, super excited suddenly. Yeah. <laughs> With age, you will mature and you will have that tendency to hold. Correct. Okay. So that depends on person to person. So mm. initially, my codes used to be stuck for two days. Oh, okay. Three days. Uh. But uh, it's not. It never allowed me to shut the screen. Always, mm. I would open and keep reminding. Yeah, he's stuck there. He's waiting. Uh, okay. Don't let him go. Uh, uh. So there used to be some work around reading. Stack Overflow is uh, one awesome best place. You can always, always find most of the solutions. But uh, there will be times wherein you will you will not find that website useful you will need a person around you okay okay so yeah stack overflow is what you can refer and sometimes it happened so that such like half an hour and one hour i used to crack my i used to solve my problem and i used to be through oh okay so when project work started the project i completed almost in 30 40 days but then every time I used to see it, I used to have some improvement available with me. Uh, so uh, that uh. much knowledge was uh, there now that not only having some issue, but how to improvise uh, the solution was present. Okay. So the more you jump into this, the more you'll uh, realize how to play with it. So one last question again. Uh, so are you happy with what Gubi has given I you? I am overwhelmed and uh, I, I seriously owe a lot to this institute. Okay. I... If uh, I can pay back somehow, it would be an honor for me. Probably you should come back as a mentor and help others as well. I will always. You, Whenever you tell me, it's like it has changed my life uh, altogether. I would want people to know and I, will, I, I would want uh, this idea to be as a motivation to someone mm -hmm. who still feels that I can't. It's only your thought process that makes you feel whether you mm -hmm. can or whether you can't. Yep, so just true. try to think the other way and give a try in life rather than just being stuck with an idea, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome, man. Thank you, Mohamed. Thanks a lot. Thanks a, a lot. Thanks a lot for calling me. Thank sure. you so much. Okay.